In a previous video, I showed you how you could create a custom quiz results page. And in this video, we're going to take it a step further. We're going to show you how you can display a letter grade on your custom quiz results page. So let's get started. So in the past, I've shown you how you can have either a pass or fail message appear simply by using advanced actions to show one of two messages. In this case, we're going to do some advanced actions that allow you to calculate not only whether you get an F, a D minus, a D, a D plus, a C minus, and so on, all the way up to an A plus. And I've color coded them too for fun as well, just to give it some variety. This is my uh, standard quiz results page that I often use for a lot of my projects. It, it displays the score, the maximum score, and the percentage achieved. Um, you have to keep, of course, your review area. That's part of the calculation of your quiz results page. So as you can see, if you look very closely here, I actually have it just overlapping some of the slide area. You can't drag it out, uh, out to the scrap area entirely. It needs to be on the page somehow, but since I don't like the review message that is built into Adobe Captivate, I prefer using my own. Uh, that's one way that I figured out how to work around that. So let's go back here. We'll, we'll realign all of these. Uh, a couple things I'll point out first though is that I've given them all unique names, so A plus is A plus, and A and A minus is A, you know, the, the names in the properties panel uh, match, of course, what they are. You'll notice, too, that all of these individual smart shapes are set not to be visible at output. That's important. We don't want to show those as well. Let me realign these back up with the bottom layer and we'll get into how this slide works, how this quiz result slide works. So unlike other quiz result slides that just simply open and they pause and that's it, mine actually starts off with an, an advanced action being run and it's a script that I've created just simply called results and in it we're doing a little bit of calculation. Uh, of course, Adobe Captivate knows your score, so in a case like this where I have a 10 question quiz, uh, you know, uh, it's going to know whether I got 8 out of 10 questions or 9 out of 10 questions, but it doesn't really tell you much beyond that. So if, you, if you're creating e-learning that works around maybe a letter grade, uh, that's the standard in, in your organization. Uh, then you can include that as well. The information that's pushed to the LMS will still continue to be a score, 89% uh, or 90%, whatever it might be, but we'll just have this as a visual reference or a visual cue for your learners to see how they actually did. Let's take a look at the script. So I'm going to click the little folder icon next to this, the, uh, the, the script under Advanced Actions and we'll see this just in a moment here. So at first glance this advanced action looks very complicated. As you can see there's a lot of stuff going on here plus there are layers within the conditional actions. So you can see here that there's a layer for every single um, letter grade essentially um, which is true. How this works is that I simply evaluate each potential score range and either make the, um, the appropriate message visible or show it and subsequently hide all the rest. So let's start off with A+. We'll take a look at detail here. So advanced actions are really just if-then statements. If you've ever taken computer programming, even if it's just the basics, an if-then statement is really how you look at conditions and decide what the result should be. So in this case here for A+, we're asking the question if 
CP info percentage. Now CP info percentage is a built-in variable that stores the percentage scored by your learner. Um, and this is built into all of your Captivate courses. You can access that variable and check its value whenever you wish. Here we're just asking if the percentage scored is greater or equal to 95 and incidentally the letter grading standard that I'm using is one that's common in, uh, in Ontario, Canada. Uh, you may have something different. Of course you could modify this uh, file uh, if you wish to download it or recreate it to your own standards. Um, so what we're going to do is if it's 95 or 96 or 97 or 98 or 99 or 100 we're going to show the A plus message but we're going to also hide all of the other messages. Now you might be asking yourself well Paul why are you hiding the other messages? They're already uh, not visible in the output. Well that's true the first time you run this it'll probably give you the the result that you're expecting but let's say for example you fail the first time and you wish to retake the quiz because this is not part of the functionality of a normal quiz results page we need to be able to make sure that any previous messages are made not visible as well so for example if I took the cor uh, this course and I got an F. Uh, the F will be shown uh, and when I restart it over that is still visible on the course. So uh, since F is in this case the top layer of all those smart objects I'm going to want to make sure I hide the F plus any other results that were displayed earlier. That way you'll truly be able to see the A plus result. And this is true for all of these. So each layer tests for each range. Now, of course, A plus is easy. You only need one sentence uh, or, or one argument to test for it. If it's anything equal to or greater than 95, it's an A plus. A is a little more complicated because, of course, now you have two conditions that need to be true. It needs to be greater or equal to 87%, but it needs to be less than or equal to 94 percent. So in other words 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Any of those scores will run these options that are down here. In other words show that you got an A and hide all the other possibilities and so on. As you can see A minus, B plus, B and right down to D minus and then F basically anything 50% or less is F for failure and again we're going to show the F and possibly hide any other scores unfortunately it would be a shame to get a lower score at a second attempt but that's basically it um, you can download this I have it on my website. It's available. It's on sale. Normally I charge $5 for Captivate source file. Uh, you can get this one for a buck. It's a really good deal. And it's a Canadian dollar too, so uh, even less. Um, so I'm just going to update this action. And we're going to close this and test it out and see how it works. What we'll do is we'll try it twice. We'll try it once and fail, maybe purposely get an F or D minus or something like that, and then we'll see how that works. So I'm just going to preview this by clicking the preview drop down icon, and we're going to go project, give that a moment to get all set up and run for you. The great thing about this is that, uh, again, if it allows you to truly create a custom quiz result message. It doesn't have to be letter grades. It can be anything you want. You can have customized messages for various situations. So if you want to say, hey, fantastic job, you got perfect, you can say that in normal English text and not just simply say you got 100%. Um, 
So it gives you a, a little bit of flexibility with what your quiz result message looks like. So this is just a very simple English exam. It's nothing too complicated. But I'm going to purposely fail it to see if I can get that uh, result. I'm just going to randomly hit anything here. I hope I don't pass <laughs> by accident. It's only 10 questions, so in actual fact, if you were going to do this type of message, uh, you, you'd actually want to have more questions. Um, because letter grades, of course, with, with that many possible letter grades, really I can only get uh, 10 possible scores with only 10 question uh, slides. So uh, there's, there's more letter grade possibilities if you count F, D minus, D, D plus, and so on, all the way up to A plus. Um, so it would be more appropriate for question pools of 20 or 30 questions. So here I got an F. So what's happened is that, again, just to summarize what the uh, quiz results um, advanced action is doing, is it's looked at my score. I've got 3 out of 10, or 30%. So it's looking at the 30 and saying where does that fall in. So it does all those different layers and compares it. Let's just bring that up again just so we can see. Just bear with me a moment here. So it's going through and making all the comparisons. It starts with A+. Plus. Did I get 95 or greater? No. Did I get between uh, 87 and 94? No. Did I get between a, uh, 80 and 86? No. And so on all the way until it gets to the final option. Did I get less than or equal to 50? Yes, I did. So it obviously shows the F. And if necessary, even though they're already hidden, it hides the rest here. So let's just run it again and we'll see if we can get a different result. So here we are, and uh, I'll try to get some more correct answers and see if we can get a result that's uh, a little bit more appealing than an F. Um, when are you free? Um, how long for? When do you study? In the evenings? Um, have you got anything else? Let's wait for Mary. I kind of know some of the answers. The snow was falling. And uh, I'm going to do some wrong answers here now as well. Uh, fail. And we'll, we'll get one more wrong. According to Richard's blank, fail. And when you stay in the country, people's system, that's wrong. So I got a C minus. That's 60 out of, or 60%, or 6 out of 10. Let me retake the course. Again, I want to demonstrate now. Remember, the C minus message is now visible. So what you can do, of course, when you retake the course, that slide is still kind of running in the background. It's there. Um, so let's see if I can get a, um, a higher grade, which actually would be a lower uh, image. So can you help me when you're free? It was, uh, when can we meet again? When are you free? Um, how long for? When do you study? In the evenings? Would you like tea or coffee? Have you got anything else? Let's have a snack. Let's wait for Mary. And uh, the snow was falling heavily. I can't find my keys anywhere. I must have left them at work. Uh, lose control of her bicycle. Um, opinion, the train leaves at 7 people's way of life, and that should be perfect. 
So now I've got an A+, plus, 10 out of 10. So there you go, very simple, does what it, you know, it looks complicated because there's so many different things happening, but really it's just a bunch of little simple questions. If this is this score, then do this stuff afterwards. It's that simple, really. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, I encourage you to, to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video in particular, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. In addition, if you'd like a copy of this file, I'm making it available for only a dollar on my website. And you can find a link to that in the description below.